guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create this e-commerce website ui by using tailwind css so here as you can see at the top we have the main navigation section and then we have the banner section where we have the image and some catchy title text here and a shop now button and at the bottom of it we have the mens collection here we can see different items listed over here we have different information of those items and then we have the add to cart and the view details button and after this mens collection section we have the women's collection section and here also we can see similar kind of layout for all the products listed here and after that we have this subscribe to newsletter section and then we have the footer and all these things are responsive so let me show you if i reduce the width of the browser then we can see that the width of the website is getting shrinked and according to it all the elements within it are adjusting so right now we have four items in a row now let's shrink it down and now we have three items in a row like this if we go further then we have two items and for the small devices we have only one item in a row right so this is how it's looking right now and if we focus into this section so here we can see this image and this text and the input field if we reduce the width of the browser then we can see that it is adjusting to it as well but if we go further then we can see that image has been gone now we have only this text and the input field and this is consistent for the smaller devices but for the desktop version of the site we have this image alongside these contents so this is what we are going to create today in this tutorial by using tailwind css so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so for the tailwind css we need to go to this tailwindcss.com for the official website of tailwind css and what is tailwind css it is a css framework and more specifically it is a utility first css framework what does it mean it means that it has some classes like flex pt4 text center which has its own css written in this tailwind css library and while creating a website we don't need to write those css codes by our own we can just use these classes to create our design without writing any actual css code so like here as you can see they have provided a demo in the class attribute they are providing some classes and by those classes this design is getting built right so that's how we can create a design without writing any actual css but it doesn't mean that you don't need to have a knowledge about the css you definitely need to know about the css otherwise you will not understand all these classes and here you can see on their site they have provided lots of example and their sites also created with the tailwind css so you can see the power of tailwind css so it is definitely a good css framework to learn by which you can create a website design pretty quickly so let's start with it let's click on get started and go to installation we have to install it to use it and we have many different integration guides here as well as you can see we have next.js view laravel react so tailwind have all those integrations available but for today's tutorial i'm not using any of these technologies i'm using basic html if you are interested in react or next.js then let me know in the comment section below i will create those tutorial in future as well but for now let's use it in simple html and there is not so much of difference there is just a small difference like in react application instead of class you need to use the class name otherwise all the css classes are same for the html and the react as well so whatever you will end up learning in this tutorial those things will be applicable for react laravel or view in all these technologies so we need to install tailwind via npm 
and here i have created a directory called tailwind eshop so in this directory first i will initiate a node project by using npm init dash y so our package.json has been created now we can use this command to install tailwind so i have pasted it and now hit enter and now if i go to package.json then we can see dev dependencies for tailwind css post css and auto prefixer and then we can use this npx tailwind css init command in our directory and by using it we will create this tailwind config file and this is the main file by which we can configure tailwind by our requirement but in this tutorial i'm not showing you how to customize tailwind but rather i will show you how we can use it to create a simple website without any customization in the tailwind but if we want to customize it that is also available with tailwind and it is for the advanced user which i might do in a separate video now let's create uh, index.html file and then create a directory called css and within the css directory let's create a style.css file and then we can include tailwind by using these three lines of code and these are not any css code so that's why we are getting a warning by vs code which is fine because we are not actually going to use this css file we are just going to use this css file to create our actual css file which we are going to use in our index.html so what does it mean it means that from tailwind library we are fetching these three types of code so we have base css codes then we have codes for the components and then we have utilities so we are pulling all these codes from tailwind library to our css file now let's generate our actual css file from this base css file so we can do that by providing npx tailwind css build then providing the source of it for our case it will be css style dot css file and we want output to the same directory i want to provide the name of it as tailwind.css you can provide any name of your choice so it can be any other name and this source can be any other as well now hit enter now it has been finished and we can see that it has created this css tailwind css and the size of it 3.81 mb which is pretty massive for our website and that is because in this file we have all the css codes present so here we can see that we have lots of codes and all these codes are pretty massive for the browser to handle so definitely we will not use it in a production site but for this tutorial i'm going to use this one in our index.html but in a real world scenario we will not use it we will generate another file which will have only css of those classes which we have used in our project and those are the customizations we can do later but for today's tutorial we are getting to know about the tailwind css so that's why i am using static html and now i am using a html5 boilerplate and let's change the title to tailwind css and it will be tailwind and here i will use a text hello world now save it and then let's open it with live server so here we can see our index.html file now let's include the tailwind css let's save it and after saving it we can see that the text has been changed so that means our tailwind css is working perfectly fine so we have successfully set up the tailwind css with our project and now if we want to see it then for the h1 class we can provide some class like text excel or 2xl 3xl now after saving it we can see that it is having a bigger font size right and you may be wondering that how i am getting all these suggestions for the tailwind css that is because i am using extension called tailwind css intellisense i definitely recommend you to use this extension by using this your development experience will be much more smoother 
now we can start design our website layout so now let's see what we are going to build this is the design so let's first focus into this top header navigation section so let's get rid of this and let's create a div with some class in it and first class will be the container class and that container class will contain all these contents within this width so this is the container which is having a particular width so here we can see we have a specific width and let me provide a background color to it i have provided a bg color pink and let's provide a height to it now save it now after saving it let's see here we can see the container which is taking this width but it doesn't leave any space at the left hand side of it it has only empty space at the right hand side but we don't want that we want to push it to the center and for that we can use mx auto and x means horizontal axis which is left and right so here we can see it is margin left and right and we will use mx auto now save it after that we can see that it is at the center and now let's create this logo first and here in this logo we can see that we have a rounded box with a text in it and for the rounded box we have some gradient color so let's provide a div and within this div let's create another div which will be the box and that box have the gradient color so it will be bg gradient and it will be bg gradient to r so it means at the right side so that means from left to right so for the from we can provide a color which is the purple color for the two color let's provide red 600 and the 600 700 means different shade of a particular color and then let's provide some width and height to it so for the width of it i will provide w hyphen and here we can see for w hyphen 0 we have 0 width and then we have 0.25 rem so like this so here i'm going to provide width 10 and height 10 as well now save it let's see so here we can see that box now let's get rid of this background color of this container so i think it is little darker and we are using a light color over here so let's change this shade of it 400 so now it's looking similar to it but here we have rounded radius to it so for it it will be rounded lg and we have different kind of border radius as well so here we have rounded sm for border radius 0.125 rem and we have different classes for different radius so here rounded tsm that means this number of border radius will be applied at the top of the div so like this we have top right bottom left and similar to sm we have lg i'm using lg and without using any l or t i'm providing rounded lg only so that means it will be applied for every corner of the div right so that's what applied over here and now for the container let's provide some padding here and for the padding we have p hyphen then we have different values and for the padding i will use p5 so it's showing perfectly now we have the text beside this box we will have the text for the logo so within this h1 i have provided the text and after saving it we can see that it is sitting at the bottom of it but we need to push it to the side of it so for that here in this wrapper div i can provide a flex style and here it will be flex row now we can see that it is sitting beside the box now let's change the text size of it so it will be text 3xl and for the color of it i will use text gray 600 now let's provide some spacing before this logo text so here it will be m l which is margin left and at the left i want to provide 0.5 rem which is this ml2 now save it 
so it's looking perfect as it is here after this within same level we have the navigation bar so after this flex row we have another section for the navigation so within this div let's create anchor tag and for the anchor tag let's now provide the text first now save it after saving it we can see the text here but we want to push it to the right hand side of the page so for that we need to wrap these two sections within a wrapper div which will handle that and this container div this is the main wrapper which is containing all the website content so this is not the wrapper which i'm talking about i'm talking about another wrapper which will only wrap these two sections so let's close this div here and for this div class let's provide a flex and here also it will be flex row by providing flex row it will sit beside this logo text but i want to push it to the right hand side and that i can do by providing justify between that means it will provide justify content space between so we need to know about the css then we can use it much more easily so if you don't have your basics clear for the css then it will be pretty difficult for you to use it efficiently so i will put extra emphasis to basics of the css then you can jump into any css framework like this tailwind or bootstrap or any other now save it now we can see that it has been pushed at the right side of the page so it has been done now i want to change the text color so it will be text gray and i want to provide some hover style to it right now if we hover over it then we don't have any change in color i don't want that i want to provide some color for the hover state and that we can do by providing hover then colon and then we can provide whatever customization we want for that particular state so for the hover state i want to provide a color so it will be text purple color and i will provide 600 now if i hover over it then we can see that the color is being changed so it's working fine but here we can see that when we are going over the text that time only we are having the anchor tag active i want to expand it little further for that i want to provide a padding to it so i have provided p4 now if we check it then we are seeing that we have some extra space available to it now i can copy it several times so here it will be shop then blog and contact so it's showing perfectly fine now i want to provide some margin top to it so i have provided empty that means margin top and then two points which is 0.5 rem now it has been pushed little down now let's see after this contact within this menu we have this cart button let's create that so i have copied it so it is the cart and then a number within the parenthesis and for the color of it here it will be some bg color so it is the bg purple and for the text color let's provide text gray 50 okay now let's provide some radius to it and it will be rounded full it is showing perfectly now i don't want any hover effect for this text i want to provide hover effect to this background color so it will not be the text purple it will be the bg purple 700 so here we can see the hover effect and i want to provide some padding to left and right of it so for that it will be px5 now let's see it okay i think it is quite a bit extra it will be p3 yeah now i think it's correct but here we can see an icon beside this text so we need to provide that icon and for the icon tailwind css recommends this hero icons package so from here i will check for the cart so here is the shopping cart and we can copy the svg so svg has been copied now i can use it here now above it let's use this svg and here you can see those classes height and width available right 
now save it so here we can see that it's broken now let's inspect it let's see where is our svg image and we can see the svg image is available here so let's provide inline block here to make it in a same line so now it's looking good now let's work on this hero section so it will be after this div so here we are completed with the main navigation and here it will be our hero section so here let's provide another div and within this div we will have some text and then after this title we will have some other subtitles here i will provide some text now save it so here we can see those text and after this text we will have the image so here i need to provide some image source and i have this images folder in my project directory and within this images folder i have hero image svg and along with this hero image i have products directory and within this products directory i have products available for men and women and also i have the subscribe banner so for this image here it will be hero image and for the width of it i will use use full width so it will be w full now save it so here we can see that image but it's not looking like this one so we need to provide some classes here and those classes will be first for this text wrapper div here it will be the width of 2 by 5 so that means we are distributing this complete section in five parts and within these five parts this text section will contain two parts out of those five parts and for this image i will provide width 3 by 5 now the image has been shrinked but it's not going to the right hand side and we know how we can do that we can do that by providing a flex wrapper here and the flex direction will be the row now it has moved to this section now let's provide some margin top to this complete wrapper which is this one so it will be empty that means margin top and i want to provide 20 now let's move this text at the center of this area and here also it will be flex and it is flex column for the justify content it will be justify center now save it so here it has been posted at the middle of it now let's change the font style of it here we can see it is a different font so for this h2 it is font serif and for the font size of it it is the text 5 excel and it is a black color but here it is the gray color so that means it will be text gray 600 now let's add some classes for these taglines so first it will be uppercase and obviously the text will be the text gray but here we can see that we have some letter spacing in it and that we can provide by providing tracking wide now let's save it so now it has provided some letter spacing now let's provide similar classes for this paragraph as well and here it will have some margin in between this title and the subtitles so let's provide some margin bottom to it so it's looking fine now we have this shop now button so it is the shop now button now let's provide some classes here and the first class will be bg gradient because we can see here it is some gradient color right so here it is from red to pink so it will be from red 600 to pink 500 and it will have rounded full for the border radius then for the padding vertically i will provide four point and for horizontally i will provide eight point okay now for the text it will be text gray 50 then it will be uppercase and for the text size of it i will provide text excel so now the text is fine but the button is expanding throughout the width of it for that i will provide self 
start so it will align itself to the flex start now save it now let's provide some margin vertically to it so now it's looking perfect now let's check it for the mobile devices so it's getting shrinked perfectly but if we reduce the width further then we can see that it's getting jumbled up we are not seeing any proper responsive behavior in it so we need to check for that as well and for that now first go to the tailwind css now i will open this in a new tab because we will require this hero icon later now let's check for the breakpoints so here are the breakpoints sm md so that means small medium large extra large and double extra large so these are the breakpoints which we need to consider and this is the mobile fast framework all these standard classes are applying for the small devices for the larger width devices we need to specify the breakpoints so as right now you can see if we consider this top section we want after this breakpoint which is the md breakpoint so when it reaches md breakpoint then we want this logo at the middle and these navigation items at the center as well and we can do that by updating this flex property so right now we have this flex and flex row which is working perfectly fine for the larger devices so our breakpoint we have decide medium so for the md we will provide the flex row which is working perfectly fine for the larger devices so that means larger than this breakpoint we will apply this flex row property and this justify between as well now save it now after that let's see when we reach the medium breakpoint then we can see that this navigation menu is now at the bottom of this logo which is perfectly fine for a small device and here i want to provide text center so now it has been aligned at the center but the logo is not aligned properly we need to check for that as well and here we have the flexbox property so we can provide justify center to it now we can see that it's showing perfectly fine now for the larger devices we can see that it's showing perfectly fine as well so the justify center is the default for this logo but when we are going beyond the medium breakpoint that time this flex properties kicks in and then it's having flex direction row right so that's how we have provided the responsive layout for the navigation menu now let's do the same for this hero section as well so whatever we have done for this hero section those things will be applied for the md breakpoint and above so it will be md colon flex row and for the flex as well it will be md for these widths it will be for larger than the medium devices now save it now it's showing far better than before but for the larger devices it's showing exactly the same as before right so it's working perfectly fine now i want to just change the layout of this text at the center like this now let's provide text center for this text so it is moved to the center let's check it for the larger devices it's not looking good so for the larger devices let's provide md text left so it will be aligned to the left hand side for the larger devices but when we are going less than the medium device width that time it is at the center and how do i know about the width i can know about that by going to the developer options by clicking on inspect element and here we can see that we have the pixel available so it is more than 768 pixel and when we are going below the 768 pixel that time we are in the breakpoints less than the medium right so now the texts are looking perfect for the mobile devices but not this button item and we can do that by providing item center and here we can see that it's not moved at the center because i think 
yeah it is for the self start it is applied for all of the breakpoints but i want to provide it after the medium breakpoints for the larger devices so now it's showing perfectly fine for the small devices and for the larger one it's showing perfectly fine as well okay so now these text are not at the left hand side let's see so for the larger breakpoints it's going at the center after providing this item center so i think it will work with the md self start okay so here are some problem so i think we will require both the things so here for the larger devices it's showing fine for the smaller ones it's showing perfectly fine as well so now we have made the responsive layout perfectly fine now let's focus into this product item section so after this hero section here it will be men's collection and here we will create those product items so here first we can see this section where we have the title and then at the right hand side we have this view all button and then we have this layout now let's create this layout first so it will be flex and it will be flex row as we have seen before and to move these two items in both the edges we need to provide the justify between and within this div we can provide that text and the button so here it is the text men's collection for the class of it i will use text 3xl so it is the size of it and then let's provide the button so which is the anchor tag and here it is the view all button now save it now after saving it here we can see those two section for the view all button text it will be text excel okay and let's provide some margin to it and i will provide margin vertically 20 so that means top and bottom and then beside this view all text we have an icon so it will be an arrow right so i have copied it now let's provide it here and now we need to provide this flex property to make these two items sit beside each other now let's change height and width of it so for the height of it i will provide seven for the width of it i will provide five and for the margin left i will provide one now it's looking good it is aligned to it perfectly and why i have provided a7 because it has height 1.75 rem and for this view text i have this line height 1.75 rem so the height is matching with this height that's why it's looking properly aligned now after this we have the items and for those items we need to use the grid so here we can see this is the grid layout and that's how we can provide the grid layout grid grid flow column or row then we can specify the row and columns in it so here it is grid flow column so that's why it's one two three if i want to provide one two three in a row then it will be grid flow row right so after this div let's provide another div it will be grid and it is grid flow row and i want to provide grid calls for and the gap will be 10 now within this i can create some items first let's provide some shadow to it and then within it let's provide the images for the images we have product and here it will be product one now save it now let's see now let's copy it several times so here we can see this is how our grid has been created now i want to provide some border radius to it so it will be rounded lg and i have to provide that for this image as well so here we can see that it has been applied 
now for this container let's remove this height now we can see it's having proper border radius now after this image we have this different type of content first we have the item name then item colors then item sizes and then we have two buttons now let's first provide those things i'm removing these items which i have repeated and here we need to wrap this image with an anchor tag because i want to click on it to go to the items detail page after this anchor tag here it will be a div and for this div i will provide some padding then within h3 i will provide the title so here it is showing perfectly but now when this section is getting extended that time i don't want this border radius to this image at the bottom so it will not be rounded lg it will be rounded top left lg and it will be rounded top right lg so now these two radius has been removed and it's looking good as we wanted now after this title let's create a div and within this div i will provide these different colors so for it here it will be a div first the bg color will be the black height and width of it five point i will make it rounded so it will be rounded full then let's provide a shadow and i have provided medium shadow and it will have a margin right which will be two point so now it's like this so after this black color we have this blue white red and green now let's copy it several times then it will be blue 800 then it will be white red 800 and for this color it will be green 700 now save it so here these are the items sitting on top of each other so we need to change it with the flex properties now it's looking fine and let's provide some margin horizontally to it so it has been completed now we have different sizes so after this div we will have another div which will have similar property like this wrapper div and here also we will have several divs for the class of it we need to provide some border so it is border 2 so border width is 2 pixel for the border color i will provide border gray 300 for the text color i will provide text gray 400 for the border radius i will provide rounded md now let's see okay it's showing good but the font size is smaller here and we have some padding to it so it will be text extra small and some padding horizontally with two points and vertically one now save it so it's looking good and we need to provide some margin right to it which is mr2 now copy it several times so after excel it will be double excel large medium and then small it's looking good now we need to create these two buttons so after this section let's create another div and this div will have the flex property in it and along with it it will have justify between as these two buttons are sitting at both the edges we have some space in between these two items so that's why i have provided justify between now let's provide the button here so here it is the at to cart button and for the cart icon it will be this icon so i can copy that svg code and paste it here and now for the color of it it will be this color so i can copy that color code from this shop now button and use it here for padding it will be vertically 2 and horizontally it is 4 it will be flex row and here let's provide some margin right now it's looking good but let's reduce the size of this icon so it's looking good
now for the hover state of it i will not provide any gradient color but we don't have any property to remove the gradient color by providing any class to it so we need to provide from color and to color and i will provide same color for both of it so it will be from pink 600 to pink 600 now save it now let's see here we can see the hover effect right now let's copy this button and this time it will be view details and here it has a icon which is different to this arrow icon so we need to look for it and i think this is the arrow icon which is being used here so i have copied it and paste it here and let's provide margin right one yeah i think it's okay i don't want to provide gradient color to it here it will be bg purple 600 and for the hover state of it it will be bg purple 700 right so it's looking good i think for the text size it is the small size for both of these buttons yeah now it's looking good so that's how we have created one item now i can copy it several times now let's check the responsiveness of it but it's not responsive so i don't want this kind of behavior with it i want to change it so now here in the grid we can update the grid so let's check for the breakpoints now for the extra large for more than 1280 pixel with devices i want to display four items in a row but less than this i want to display three items in a row so it will be excel colon four lg colon grid column three so for more than this pixel width i want to display three items for medium i want to display two and for the small which is default here i want to display only one so that means this default one will work for the smaller devices right now let's check it so here for this breakpoint we are having this three item then we are having two items then we are having only one item and let's provide some margin horizontal to this title section so it's now looking good and here we can see something is not looking good with these buttons i want to change that i want to make these buttons in full width in smaller devices for the larger devices it is okay so let's go to this button and here it is having flex row property so for the extra large it will have the flex row but i need to provide the flex column which is the default one now it's showing good but i want to provide this text at the center so it will be justify center right and i want to provide some margin horizontally to it so it's looking good now let's provide justify center to this button as well so now let's see for the larger devices so for the larger devices it's showing perfectly fine for the smaller devices it's showing fine as well now i can copy this item like this and create all of these items and it will be similar for this women's collections as well so i will do this off screen and then i will come back after providing all this data so then we will left only with this section which is pretty interesting because we want to hide this image in the smaller screens right so let me complete these items first now i have added all those items here here we can see all those items listed here and if we if we look for the smaller devices then we can see that all of these items are behaving properly all these items are responsive right now let's create this newsletter section so after this we will create another div which will be our newsletter section 
and for this section class let's provide rounded edge then some shadow and margin horizontally 20 point now here we will have two section for the second section we will have the image for the image source of it let's use this subscribe banner image and for the class of it i will use a height 96 point let's see how it's showing right now i want to move this here and here we will have another section which will have those text and the background color right so it will have flex property and it will be flex row for the width of it it will be 2 by 5 and for this section width it will be 3 by 5 so it has been post at the right side now let's provide some gradient color to it so it will be bg gradient to r and it will be from black color to transparent color and in between it has purple color so it will be via purple 900 to transparent now let's see so here we can see that gradient color it will have rounded lg so now let's inspect it so it is this section which is having this color and within this we want to provide those text contents but here we can see that it is only available to half of this area so within this div we will have another div which will have width 1 by 2 that means 50 percent of the width and it will have those text subscribe to get our offers first here is that text so the text will be gray 100 and we will have some padding to it so it will be p12 for this text let's provide text to excel and then font weight will be extra bold and i want to provide some margin bottom to it now after this here we will have some paragraph and it will be this paragraph here also i want to provide some margin bottom to it and let's provide some line height to it and i will provide this line height which is coming from this leading relaxed now after this we have the input field so here it is input type email then for the placeholder it is enter email address for the classes of it i will provide bg gray 600 for the text color i will provide text gray 200 and for the placeholder color i will provide placeholder gray 400 let's provide some padding to it so that's how it's showing right now for the width of it i will provide full width and it will be rounded lg now if we focus into it that time we are having some blue border to it i don't want that so it will be focus state outline none now when we are focusing that time it's not having that blue border now let's provide margin button to it and after this input field let's provide a button the button type will be submit let's provide bg color some padding here and some border radius okay for the button let's provide the button text now let's provide the width full so that's how it's showing right now and this is perfectly fine for the bigger screens but for the smaller screens it's not looking good so normally it will be hidden and for the large devices it will have the width and similarly this 50 percent width will be available for the larger width and this width as well normally it will have width full so here it will normally have width full it will have flex row for the lg property and flex in it now for the smaller devices i don't want this transparent to it so it will be for lg 
and normally it will be from black to purple 900 so that's how it's looking right now and for the bigger devices it is like that so that's how we have completed this section and now we have the footer section which is pretty easy here we have a div and within this div we have some buttons for the class of it i will provide some margin and i will provide margin bottom to it which is margin bottom for and let's provide copyright message so here is those text now let's provide some classes here i want to provide some border it will be border top for the border color i will provide border gray 300 it will be flex low and justify between let's provide some padding so now it's looking good for the text size i will provide small size for the small width devices let's provide some styling so right now whatever i have provided these things will be present for more than medium devices and it will be flex column similarly this justify between will be for more than medium devices as well right then we need to provide this in the center so it will be text center right so this is the layout which is completely responsive it is working perfectly fine for the smaller devices and for the larger devices it's showing perfectly fine so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye